Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of LTFC, the Road to Division 1 series on FIFA 18 where we just don't spend real money. We try to do this as normal as possible, seeing how far we can get, what kind of team we can build without spending any money on FIFA points. So the last episode we got the title in Division 10, so now we have a clean slate here in Division 9. Uh, no points, no games played, we're gonna have to get 13 points to get the title, 10 points to get promotion, very doable given the form that we normally have. Now we've been rolling with this squad, which has been very good for us, but I might actually be switching it up very soon, not because they haven't been performing well enough, but because there are not many possibilities to improve for a slight uh, price increase in the Liga Santander. I might have to go to Syria, I might have to go maybe improve the Bundesliga squad, or maybe we'll fulfill the ultimate goal that Lucifer had and go into England. But I'm not going to do that this time around, so we're going to stick with this squad. I might improve it right now, I have around 5,000 coins, uh, because I'm probably going to get rid of these players, I'm not going to do something crazy, but I might try to improve one of these midfielders right now, thinking Borges might have to go. And actually, the player I'm going to go with, he is kind of expensive, I just spent 4,000 coins on him, but it's Saul, and he looks like he might be a player that, if he's good enough, I might change my whole mind and stay with the Liga Santander. 4,000 coins is kind of a lot, but for the kind of player you're getting here, with the high work rates for defensive work rates, medium, he's got the dribbling, he's got the passing, he's an overall complete midfielder, he might be good enough for us. So here's the new look squad, pretty much the same thing, just Saul has slotted in perfectly at that center mid position. The only one player who's not really on great chemistry, not on 9 or 10, is going to be Serbi, but as we've seen in the past, he doesn't need the 10 chemistry. He just runs past everyone with ease. Alright, we're going to crack into a game right now. If you guys enjoy LTFC, if you like the videos, drop a like on the video. Let's get into it. So I think from now on, I'm going to buy at least one player per episode, so this is going to be the player review, of course. I wanted to have a player review inside of the game, so this will be the Saul player review. If you're thinking about him, 4,000 coins. I should look at the stats. I'll look at the stats after this, but uh, he looks like he should be a good player. And in Division 9, our first opponent has got a 4.5 star 81 overall, 89 chem team, Pedro, Adariz, Conoplianca, good front three, uh, Cozzello, who looks like he's 15 years old. He's got... Uh, that guy who got uh, Triggy Azalea, that's who that is. 82 overall Triggy Azalea. He might actually be a player to go after next time. Alright, come on boys. We've done it with the Bronze Boys. We've done it with Boos. We've done it with Vieto. Now let's see what Saul can add to the mix. Boos. 1-2, Vieto. Back for Boos. Gets by one. Boos. he's gonna play it down for Servi. Who's got there? He's got options in the middle. He's got multiple options, but he couldn't actually find anyone. No! Played inside for Vieto. Vieto. Down for Servi. Who gets by one? Still Servi. Come on. Center it. Center it this time. He's right there. He was right there, Servi. Plays it in. Adariz. Falls to Semedo. Pedro hits the side netting. Here's Saul. Plays it in. It's a great ball for Buda Booz. The Buda Booz man. The Buda Booz man. You can just always count on Buda Booz to score. He's got love for his fans. He loves his fans. He loves the long trannies. As we all do. Look at that guy, he's so distraught in the background. It was a great pass by Saul. He gets an assist right here. Look at that first touch, that's the key. The first touch got away from everyone, and a good finish on his weak foot. Well, I'm getting in front of Connor Plianka. Semedo. Couldn't do it. He whips it in. That's dangerous. That's dangerous, Johnny! Really? Really? That. That's a goal? Yeah, I have honestly got to sort out these animations. Like, what? Why is he doing that? I didn't have any control over him. Why would you do that? There's Buda Booz with it. He's going to play it in to Zeratuza. Zeratuza, sign that. Find it to Vieto. Just got to be patient in the box, boys. If I had to give one tip that I've learned this far, thus far in FIFA 18, when you have the ball, you actually don't need to press anything except use your left stick. Like, L2R2 is not nearly as effective as it was last year. And the thing that's pretty effective that I haven't mastered yet is the no touch dribbling, which is R1, but uh, right there, you just gotta be patient and slow, and they take touches, good touches, even when you're just using the left analog stick. All right, so at halftime, we've been playing well, kind of uh, undeserved that goal that he had. Our two goals have been all right. This has been a player review for Sal. This whole episode, I guess, is a player review for Sal. And uh, he, in that first half, he was pretty good. He got an assist. He's been pretty good defensively. His high defensive work rates are really shining through, which is what I want him to do. Saul, 
Gets by one. Still Saul. Gets by another. Left foot, Saul. Curled it into Handanovic. Play it through the middle. Wait for that run for Buda Booz. Here's Buda Booz. What a touch that is. He still has it. Oh, that got fouled. I want the free kick. Give me the free kick. Hello? What? Mom? Great tackle by Saul. That is why Saul... This is what Saul's good at. He's basically a box-to-box -box destroyer type, kind of. He's not actually as technically gifted as I was expecting, but for this role that he's playing in my team, he doesn't really need to be. Buda Booz. Into Vieto. Back heel for Buda Booz. Left foot. Hits it. Finds the back of the net. Budabus and Vieto. How many assists does Vieto honestly have? It's always just a layoff from Vieto to Budabus, and he finishes everything. Plays it for Cherby. It's a great ball. Cherby, he's not going to beat him for pace. He cuts it back. He's going to play it down for Zerotuza. He's going to play it inside for Budabus, who's on a hat trick. Oh, he just gets it wide. There's Cherby. Zerotuza. 1 2. Vieto. Play it through. Budabus, hat trick time. Hat trick time. Hat trick time, right foot. Hat trick time, Buddha booze. He's the booze man. He's the booze man. That's what I've trying to be, I've been trying to tell everyone. He's the X factor. Full time whistle. Four one, I think, was the final score. And really, we should have had a clean sheet. That goal we gave up was just absolute nonsense. Buddha booze man of the match, of course. Ten. Vieto had a goal. Hat trick for Buddha booze. Assist. We had two to Vieto, one to Zero Tuza, one to Saul. All right, I hate to do it because of how good Zero Tuza has actually been. But I'm going to look for a replacement that center mid position. And the player I might use is probably Daniel Wass, also known as Vasistas, just because he's got 90 stamina, which is super important for a central midfielder. And he's got other stats that look like he's a great all around player. Pick him up for 2k, leaves me 671 coins. And uh, I think this squad is getting up there. Like, this could bring me all the way to Division 4, in my opinion. All right, so we're going to send Zeratuza to the bench gonna bring in that main man himself Daniel Vaz is thus all right the second opponent for today has a five, four and a half star 80 overall 100 chem team very good looking squad with Demarel I think that is an Adair don't know who that cam is I'm um, not sure about that center mid either he's got Kondreva as center mid De Rossi uh, Jordan Lukaku I saw I think Juan Jesus as well and um, I think it might have been Benatia all right this guy is called JBRTG so I think he probably knows what he's doing and I've said it before, but this might be our toughest match yet. Oh no, we could be in trouble. Galliardini! Oh wow, I thought that went in. How did it miss? Vieto. Saul. Saul. Still Saul. Gets by everyone. Left foot. Saul gets on the board. There you go. I think he's left footed. I'm not 100% sure. But that's what I was expecting more of in that first match from Saul. Getting up. I know he's good defensively. I know he gets box to box. But I wanted to see him be a little bit more creative, have better end products in that first match, and he didn't really have it. He had one assist. Right there, he gets a nutmeg goal. Go Buda Booz. Play it. Who is it? It's Vieto. Vieto's going to curl this one. Vieto's going to curl it off the post and in. They were too worried about Buda Booz. you got to be worried about Buda Booz. But when you got Vieto on the field as well, he can bang it in. Right here, we win it in the midfield. I think it was Saul who actually started this move. And then they just back off way too much. You can't do it. Go Buda Boos. Keep going, Buda Boos. Look at the pace. Vieto. Vieto gets by his man. He's going to finish this. Vieto makes it 3 0. You just can't. You can't keep up with them. They're too good. They're just too good, boys. We won it in the midfield. This time, I think it was Daniel Voss who started this move. And you know who finished it? It's Vieto, of course. Waits for a ball. Plays it to Buda Boos. To Cherivy. Still Cherivy. Still Cherivy. They're not closing him down. You gotta close him down. What a save by Donnarumma. Oh no, that's a good ball. That's a good ball. And he could score here. He does score here. No mistake about that finish. Just cut open my defense. Right at the break. I feel kind of lucky. I've been playing well, but I know this guy is a good opponent. So 3-1 is a little bit flattering for me. I have to keep up the t tenacity, keep up the concentration in the second half. Oh no, we gotta get this tackle in. Keep it, oh no. Don't concede here. Don't concede like that. That's so silly of me. That was so dumb. I lost the ball to Victor Ruiz and they dare finished it. You gotta be careful. Play it through the middle for Buda Booz. He's got the pace. Look at that great touch. Keep going Buda Booz. Keep going. Now Jordan Lukaku, he is so good. Jordan Lukaku is so strong and so fast. 
Oh no, he turns me. He turns me. Ah, oh, down from three nil. Gets all the way back. He turned me. Oh no. Oh, this is how easy it is. Good save by the keeper. It's just so easy though. The defense doesn't do enough in my opinion. Vieto plays it for Daniel Vas. Daniel Vas, keep running. Daniel Vas is das. Daniel Vas is das den. That's a penalty. That's what that is. We got Riyad Budabuz to take this penalty for us. Let's go bottom left. Let's go. Damn it. Vieto inside. Good ball. Budabuz. Get it onto the left. Budabuz onto the left. What a save by Donnarumma. How did he do that? Cherry wide for Vela. Vela cannot do anything on the swing against Jordan Lukaku. But can we go through the middle? Come on, dying embers of the match. We still have it with Vieto. He's gonna play it down for Budabuz, who plays it inside. For Cherby, who's gonna play it down for Daniel Vas is Das. That's a game-winning goal. That's what that is, boys. That's a game-winning goal for Daniel Vas. Come on, get in, boys. He's got the little faux hawk. It's a beautiful thing now, isn't it? Just excellent build up play right through the middle and a nutmeg. Big Donnarumma came tumbling through, but we got that in. There we go, boys. Final whistle. What a game. What a game. Man of the match went to Daniel Voss. You know, I have to say, Daniel Voss outplayed Saul by a lot, and he was about half the price. Saul didn't have a bad game. He scored a goal, uh, but Daniel Voss scored a goal too, and this was the game winner. So hard fought battle in Division 9 means that we're now on two wins. We got six points. We just need seven more to get that title. All right, so I'm going to do something kind of strange, but I'm going to sell Carlos Vela. Uh, I think I'll be able to make a little bit of profit on him, but he that last game showed me that he is not very effective. He was going against Jordan Lukaku, who's one of the better left backs, but he I don't think he did anything to get by him the entire match. So he sold pretty quickly, almost instantly. And we now have 3,500 coins to get ourselves a new right winger. Alright, so we managed to get a Lucas Vasquez for 750 coins. For an 82 overall, that's pretty good. So pretty much the same squad. We have good fitness because I added a fitness card, or a squad fitness card. Uh, Lucas Vasquez is here. He's on 10 chem. He looks decent, but he does have high defensive work rates, which I don't really want from a right winger. 90 stamina though, that's better. Alright, this opponent has a 4 star 77 overall 174 chem team with... Uh, Charlie Austin that is. He's got Danny Drinkwater. Chelsea Badge looks so weird next to him. He's got Abate, he's got James Tompkins, Daily Blint, Andros Townsend. It's a strange looking squad, but if he's in Division 9 already, that might mean he's a good player or he's just been playing a lot of FIFA. Headers, win that free header. Daniel Voss, oh, he got a free header. He should have scored, really. Vieto, can he curl it in? Vieto, he's just got a curler now, doesn't he? He does it for, I think he did it last episode, or last game, or maybe that was the first game of this episode, but he's just got a great curl on him, doesn't he? It's the same thing, it's Budabuz drawing the defense and Fiato curling it. Into Lucas Vasquez, 1-2, back for Lucas Vasquez. He's gonna get there, he's gonna shoot. Oh, I should have centered it. Actually, I don't know if there was anyone there. Played inside for Budabuz, he's on the left foot. Oh, good save, Tariko had to get down. Oh, this is dangerous. Stanley Drinkwater running, plays it for Christian Atsu, who centers it across. Keeper did not do that convincingly, but <laughs> they didn't score. There's Vieto. Still with Vieto. Still with Vieto. Hits one. This keeper is having an absolute crazy match. Alright, at the break, if it were not for their keeper making some incredible saves, I would be up by a lot more right now. He's had some great saves, right? Because I'm shooting it into the corners and he's getting down and low, which is normally the hardest place for a keeper to get. Not really top right corner, but bottom corners, harder. Budabuz gets by another. Budabuz is gonna take it on. Oh, hit James Tompkins. But we still have it, Lucas Vasquez for Saul, who turns left foot, deflection, gotta be a goal. It is Budabuz who gets onto it. We just got a little bit lucky there. Took a great save by the keeper yet again, but he parried it right into the path of Budabuz. Oh no, Victor Ruiz got stunned. And Charlie Austin hits it to make it 2-1. I feel like as soon as you give up a goal, there's a high, a high likelihood that you're going to score. Because that happens a lot for me. I concede and then I score it right back. And he just did it. Oh no, Christian Atsu just got by me so easily. What was that? Why did my defense just run? Why did they do that? Alright, it's 2-all now. 
I don't really know what my defense was doing. They just all ran out of the box. I don't know, where's my right back? Why? Why is my right back not playing the game called football? What? Where was Sergio Roberto? No, not in the last seconds. Good save. I thought I was going to get the block in, but he missed. Go Buda Boos, come on. We have time. We have the willpower. We can do this. Play it back. It's Buda Boos. Still Buda Boos. Turn. Be patient. Play it down now. Who is it? Lucas Vasquez. Lucas Vasquez off the post. Rebound. Get in the net. It's Vieto. We always got to score, boys. We got to make it interesting. 88th minute. Vieto gets it. That was really good play. Vieto, I mean, uh, Lucas Vasquez is a lot better than Carlos Vela. And it's, we got the Titanic celebration. We're just breaking out all the stops now, aren't we? I'm surprised he got to it, but what a little toe poke by Vieto. He's such a mug, but a good mug. Yes, full-time whistle, another nail biter, but we pull it out, boys. Three from three in this episode. Man, the match tied Vieto and Budaboos. Assist, actually goals, two to Vieto, one to Budaboos, and assist, two to Budaboos, one to Saul. We had 13 shots. His keeper had a crazy performance. 10 saves. And my guy had 6 saves too. Keeper's actually not terrible. So we're on 9 points now. 3 games played in Division 9. We just need 1 more point for promotion. 4 more for the title. Alright, so boys, that's where I'm going to leave this episode of LTFC. We're on 4,338 coins. Now in the past I've asked for any suggestions. And just because I didn't use the player that you guys suggested doesn't mean I don't want to hear any suggestions. Uh, so if you do have someone that you would like me to try out, this is a player review after all. It's like a player review series. Leave that in the comments down below. It could be from a different league. I could sell this squad, even though they've been really good for me, and start building for another league. Or you could insert any of these players uh, and just take out their position and insert a new one. For example, if you wanted me to really do a, uh, I don't know, a striker like Ad Aritz Adderiz. If I could afford him, I could try him out at striker. So this one was about Saul, the center mid, and in three games for me, he scored, I thought he scored two goals. I guess he only scored one, but he got more than one assist. I'm sure of that because he got at least two. Uh, so these stats are wrong, but he was pretty good. He's 4,000 coins though, and that's expensive, especially at the start of FIFA. Now defensively, I would say he's rock solid. The only bad thing about him defensively is going to be his strength. I don't know what it is in this. We can actually look. 76 strength is not bad, but for whatever reason, maybe it's because his balance is only 68, he was getting pushed off the ball really easily. The player I would compare him to is, uh, he's actually probably better than him in real life and in game, is Julian Weigel. If you're looking for a center defensive mid who's not going to be a destroyer, but he's more like a, he's good at passing the ball up and always being in position, he's got good wits about him, and he's got good ball control, that's who Saul is, except better than Weigel is that he's really good at going box to box and he has more of an offensive threat about him. But the player who I was actually really impressed with was Daniel Voss. He's about half the price of Saul and he's just as good from what I noticed. He doesn't go forward as much as Saul and I don't think his dribbling is as quick. Uh, Saul does have better dribbling. But Daniel Voss, I noticed he was a little bit stronger. Let's check if the stats make sense. It doesn't make sense. He has less strength, but for he has less balance. But for whatever reason, he wasn't getting pushed off the ball as much as Saul. So I hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the review. Leave a comment down below as to what player you'd like me to review next. Maybe pref preferably in the Liga Santander, just so I don't have to mess up the whole squad. But you guys can leave whoever you want down below. I'll see you boys next time for another video. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Don't forget to spare pets.